Okay, okay, okay. Calm your horses, calm your horses. It's midnight right now, but the update just dropped and I, I can't go to sleep. I needed to catch back some sleep, but okay, okay, where is it? There it is, there it is. Less physics, more FPS. Oh, this is supposed to improve your performance of the game by insane amounts. Insane amounts. Okay, I already read spoilers. So let's talk a bit about the update. Okay, I'm gonna make a lot of videos. You know what, if you if you like the game, if you enjoy the content and I don't annoy you, then feel free to subscribe because I'll upload a ton of stuff on this update. I can't do everything now, it's just way too late. But let's just read through this quickly. Seven new achievements, one new stage, new enemies, new events, one new character, one new relic, gameplay options, the gameplay option we just saw, one new weapon, one new evolution, one new reroll, one more banish, uh, one more reroll. Heavily reduce the chances enemies will spawn inside walls in a daily blend. New entry in the options menu with the less physics, we just saw that. Um, and guide arrows don't chitter anymore, whatever that means. So we look at the achievements. Oh, level 16 Daryl Blend, let's do that. Uh, Bianca, ooh, that is the new character, I assume. Uh, what else do we have, what else do we have, what else do we have? There we go. Find the Sorcerer's Tears. Berserker Mode! Berserker Mode! I'm sorry, I, I'm really excited right now, but I have requested this for ages. And made this, like, a, a thing. Please bring down the game to 15 minutes. And each wave is 30 seconds long. Which will make it harder, you have less to farm experience. But it's just amazing to play shorter. And I don't know what this means, but if I read hurry mode, okay, this is what I expect. Uh, fill 60 entries in the collection to get another banish. Okay, we have that already. Um, defeat a total of 3,000 milk elementals. I definitely did that. Fun fact, I just got the gold world record on this map where on Ilmolis with 40k. If you want to watch that, link in the pinned comment. Defeat a giant enemy crab in the Gallo Tower. What is a Gallo Tower? Stop that. Uh, evolve the Runtress. Did we see something about the Gallo Tower that I missed? Oh, that was in the very beginning, right? Daily Blend, level 60. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's just, um, as usual, I'll just go for missing no with a high growth and just quickly get there. Uh, yeah, I just left the game to lock in missing no, and I got Bianca because I already had him defeated. Kind of forgot that would happen, but you know what? Instead, let's just look at Bianca. Gets more projectiles every 20 levels, max 3. That's another one. No, you don't have the card. No. She actually has the card. I have a modded video on this where I use that weapon. I'm gonna link that as well in the pin com. Oh my god, I'm linking so much stuff. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, sure, let's get to level 60 with her. Okay, I'm slightly embarrassed. I died on the dairy plants. Luckily after level 60, so we unlocked the new stage, but I'm not gonna show you that. That never happened. No one can tell me that that ever happened. No one saw that. Okay, so let's play Bianca Rumba. <laughs> Base stats with plus three projectiles in total on the new map. There it is. And this will be without hyper mode. We have to defeat a crab first. And then we also see the stats over here. So, is it? Oh, wow. Yeah, it's, it just has a base 30% bonus gold. It's plus 25% movement speed and time limit. Now, I do know how to evolve the weapon. I got spoiled. That is good. Oh, these look amazing. What is going on there? Oh, environmental traps. I love it. Um, why, why is there a spellbinder down there? Does this kill them? No, it doesn't. I will turn on damage numbers here. Um, yeah, center water, sure. Uh, it it kind of kill. It doesn't really kill them, but it kind of kills them, right? Empty tome, very good choice. So what do we have here? We have. Okay, we have Brazer, we have Spellbinder, and we have a bottle. So I'll make my way down to the bottle, but I don't want to die here, so it will take a bit, right? Until I get strong enough. Empty Tome again, perfect. Man, this looks amazing. I will not cut this video, so expect that there are gaps where I don't talk. But also one thing that I want to say is I will do some cuts when I have to cough or so. I don't want that to be in the videos, I don't like that. Could I get another level in garlic, please? That is that is not garlic. Should we go for pentagram later? You know, all the new evolutions? <laughs> no. Okay, so the minecart is amazing. I did make a modded video using the minecart as a weapon, but what I used was the actual card in the game, right? On the daily plant. And this is not the identical one, like, not the same one. 
Ammo, by the way, this is what evolves the Rune Tracer, so I have to pick it here. Well, I guess I didn't need to pick it there, but I want to have it for the future. And it would be amazing if I could get another level in Garlic, just to kill these guys easily. Um, I'm actually getting a bit concerned here. Yeah, they are not weak. So we have candles over here as well, that's good. Uh, Aether Sparrow, perfect, perfect, perfect. Th this is what I wanted. So we want Aether Sparrow, we want both of them. Maybe I'll even go for Vandalier, but I'm generally speaking not a big fan of that. I think I'll just go for Unholy Vespers. And what else? I'm not sure yet, but we do have Spellbinder on the map, so I'm not too concerned with that. Carello, there we go. No, I don't, I don't think I can go for Vandalier. Just looking at my build, it doesn't fit at all, space-wise. I could put it in, but then I have no room left for anything else that actually defends me. Killing enemies is nice, losing because they push through is not so nice. And I can't believe right now how much the garlic has disappointed me so far. Not that garlic is bad, I just haven't gotten another level- what are you? What was that? What are these guys? Can we kill them? It didn't look like the minecart did any damage to them. Oh, that's interesting. That almost looks like just something that makes you move, right? Interesting. Okay, we also have bats here. Oh, no, no, no. They do take damage. Okay, so you can kill them. Garlic level 2. Please kill something. Uh, almost... Yeah, it, oh, wow, it can kill everything. Not first strike, but almost. That That is good enough for me. Here. And Carello again. Perfect. Now I'll make my way down there. I think I'm high enough of a level that I can survive this. Uh, maybe one more level in garlic would be good. Or not. Or not. Just no more level in garlic. This level up of the minecart just increased its cooldown. You want to decrease it, then it goes faster. This one increased it. So, that is not optimal. But you can't change it, right? It's a level up of the weapon, you can't change that. Uh, base area up by 20%, perfect. And there's the first boss, looks like a demon, I would say. Man, that looks amazing. I really want to see what the bottle at the bottom does. I will do this in multiple videos, as I said, I just don't have enough time. Did that skeleton just reappear after it got killed? Or did I, did I really just miss that there was a skeleton in my face and it hit me? Wait, no. It looks like they... Hmm. Yeah, they, they they revive. Do you see that? That is... Concerning? I think. Garlic, you're not really keeping up with this, please. <laughs> you're my beloved weapon. Don't do this to me. This is why I meant I can't just run down. I will die. I'm pretty sure I will just straight up die. Okay, let me get there. I want this chest. I need this chest, in fact. Uh, center water. That's not bad. Uh, could could have been better, but it's not bad. What is this? Oh, this, these are the things shooting down, right? They damage you. Okay, skeletons. I know these guys. They shouldn't be all too strong, but too much for our little garlic. Can I get some food? I know there's some food over there. Uh, I need this minecart to shoot. This shoots way too rarely. Like, it takes way too long to shoot out. Is this um, a trap, by the way? It is. Um, okay. I... don't know <laughs> what to think about that. And by the way, I'm usually not this super quiet. I'm not a screamy guy, I hope. It's just it's past midnight right now, I can't be too loud. Do I want to go for Song of Mana is the question. I could actually fit Song of Mana into this. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Um, this might have actually been a horrible decision. Right? Yeah, this might have been a horrible decision. Either way, I'll go for it. It's fine. I mean, I can't change it anymore. Because I now I want to go for school. You Technically speaking, you don't need it. Yeah, let me think about this, if I actually need it. Oh, I need a second gun. Sorry. Um, okay, that was surprising. That 
Okay, this is a bit too much. Hello. <laughs> Please stop that. There's so much experience here. Just let me collect that. Garlic level up. Perfect. Yeah, garlic doesn't do the trick if you don't get it up early on. It's still nice because it increases the knockback that the enemies will take. So it still has a use later on, right? But obviously, if you fall behind with it, it's like, yeah, you might as well just have another weapon. I'm gonna keep one chest on the floor. I don't know how long this map is. Well, we know it's 30 minutes long, but I don't know how many more chests will be dropped. And it would really suck if I want to evolve the Rune Tracer and then I can't do it. Okay, Rune Tracer. There we go. Oh, I can't go for it. That's hilarious. Yeah, I need the guns first. That's the opposite of hilarious. Man, these... Okay, it's only six minutes and it feels like I played this for half an hour or so. <laughs> and because it's already so hard to kill these guys, this is not normal for other maps. Okay, these dragons don't do a lot of damage, actually. Yeah, you can just walk through them. That's nice. Because I can imagine they are really hard to dodge at times. Depending on where they spawn and where you are and what's around you, that might be near impossible. Dude, okay, how many dragons did just spawn? Uh, <laughs> I, I really wonder if we can kill them. I think we just killed one, right? Like, if we put the minecart here, maybe? Like this? Well, we have armor, so we don't even take that much damage in general. Wait, are these enemies just super weak? They don't deal any damage, what? That is super easy. And I was evading them like crazy, I could have farmed experience like a madman. Well, okay, okay, I should be careful here. There we go. So the dragons just all stopped and now they appear again. Or... that was it, I guess? Okay. Okay, this is... I, I'm gonna say it, it's a bit harder than I expected it to be. I'm actually gonna go for armor here. I thought I would have the evolution by now, but no. I'm nowhere close. So I'm thinking about passive weapons right now. I think what I want to have is Candle Lapador. I think I want to have Duplicator if I can. Skullomaniac would be really good. But I will not take Skullomaniac if there is something better that I can take. I'm just not sure what it would be right now. Spinach I don't care about too much. So if we just quickly look at our stats, this I don't care about, this I want to have, this is on the map, this is on the map, this I will take, this... Okay, I think we have everything. Yeah, perfect, then I can do that. Ooh, there's a big skull. Hello there. And it looks like the ghosts are super easy to kill. Yeah, okay, even garlic can kill them. Nice, amazing. That's what I needed. I'll make my way down there. And... Candle Lapador. Good. I'll just take this chest right now and I'll walk down there and pick up the weapon that is there. Uh, the, the relic, sorry. This will take a bit, so I'll just cut. These enemies are super easy, as you can see. <laughs> so I don't think you need to see how I just bash them for the next one and a half minutes until I'm down there. Does this big circle do anything? No. Oh, that would have been interesting. Uh-oh, uh, I just stepped on something by accident. Does this actually... Like, if I destroy them, do they actually drop items? I, it only looks like they explode if you get too close. Okay. Yeah, okay. So I wanna let a minecart go off down here. That should kill them, I would assume. Oh my god. Never mind, let's just walk down. Yeah, you can just easily walk through them. They don't do anything. Um, 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 I'm getting slightly pushed into a corner here. But I think I do have enough armor that they can't really do a lot of damage to me, right? It almost looks like it, or they just die. I'm not sure which one is the case. Empty tome, perfect. Oh, I need Tiragisu. Yeah, okay. You know what, I'll not go for this Golomaniac. It's fine. I don't need it. It looks like you really don't get a lot of... It looks like you really don't get a lot of experience on this map, or... That's just because we don't play on Hyper Mode, right? We couldn't. Ooh, a Harpy. You look amazing. I love it. Well, and she's gone. I don't think she died. 
No, she didn't. Oh my god, this is so far down. Okay, yeah. I'm heading over there. They seem to get a lot thicker. I accidentally stepped on it again, because I tend to walk in the middle. And, yep, that just happened. Oh, Skulomaniac. I'm so sorry for you, but I can't afford you. Found the Spellbinder. But, yeah, I can't... Oh my god. Um, I'm slightly concerned right now. Just very slightly. Does their spinning deal any damage, or is this just because they take damage, right? It's just because they take damage. Ooh. Whoa, whoa, okay, they do deal a lot of damage. I love that there are more of these harpies around. The other boss also dropped a chest, good. Yeah, I want to have some chests that I can evolve stuff when I need to evolve it. <laughs> Look at these ginormous cards that I have. This is with Kent Labrador maxed out. That is so... Oh my god, I can't wait to play this on Missing though. With like 250% area. Oh, I think the developer was really pissed off that people just went to the bottom of the Dairy Blends to get the map. And now it's just put super far away. Yeah, one and a half minutes, right, yeah. Uh, it takes a bit longer. But right now there are these, these kind of demon guys, I would assume. They look amazing. I think we saw a smaller version of them previously, but not the grey ones. The grey ones are new. This is a boss. Oh. Hello there. Well, the minecart that we have is actually dealing a ton of damage whenever it hits him. Like 100 something. Yeah, look at this. I will definitely do a video on this minecart, but on another map on hyper mode, obviously. And definitely one for the new weapon. The Evolve Rune Tracer. You know, as much as I like these discovery videos, where I just do the stuff for the very first time, at the same time it's also like, yeah, I, I, I kind of wish I had Rune Tracer like 15 minutes ago. Okay, let me, let me, let me get inside of there. And there we go. Permanently allows to speed up time and stage selection. Oh my god, you gotta, you gotta be kidding me. I have to give that a try. So I would say the next video will be the Rune Tracer evolution. Oh, there we go, finally. The Rune Tracer evolution. And after that I try to optimize the minecart. I think that sounds good. There we go, Tiragisu. I was just about to complain that I'm not getting Tiragisu. But there we are. I just need a chest now and I need to max out the weapons. But it looks like we are just killing all the enemies easily. Uh, it's it's not hyper mode, right? And I only have 50% curse. I mean, there's definitely a ton going on here. So, there's that. Armor. Perfect. <laughs> I, I, I felt like my game is slowing down. And then I realized, no, it's just because I'm not playing on hyper mode. We didn't have it unlocked, right? Uh, uh, what? What just happened? Oh, you really gotta pay attention on this map, otherwise you die. It keeps shooting even. What? Stop that. I mean, I love it, but stop that. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, keep shooting. It, it doesn't do a little damage. It, it actually... Oh, perfect. Yeah, it actually does a lot of damage there. Okay, am I slowed down? Like, it really feels as if I'm slowed down. I don't think this is just not hyper mode. I think I'm actually slowed down. Yeah, look at this. Oh, Yeah, oh, that is sad. And uh, I did act... Oh, okay, never mind. Gone with you. No, it, it's... Oh, why? Well, amazing. We have the weapon finished. But I really hope this would be my saving grace. And instead... Oh my god. <laughs> this is horrible. Uh, keep in mind, by the way, this is the beta, 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 Britta. So, there will be changes in the future. And possibly, hopefully, certain improvements. Like, I don't know what's causing this slowdown, but I hope this will be resolved. Labora. Not the one that I was hoping for, but I'll take it. Okay, so someone just wrote this slowdown, this insane slowdown happens when these dragons spawn. And... I gotta say, yeah, I also feel like that. I think for this stage I just need a different character. Like, this one is fun, this one is a ton of fun, but it, it, I don't think it's the right one. 
And the minecart is just way too unreliable. It reminds me a bit of Lightning Ring as a main weapon. While Lightning Ring is great, or actually let's say Whip, right? While Whip is not bad, it's rather on the scale of worst weapons in the game. Oh my god, this looks amazing. Okay, this looks stunning. But yeah, the, the issue is it's good early on, but its limitation to only hit sidewise makes it really bad. Ooh, what are these fancy guys? Well, I guess I really needed Firachi there. Uh, Rune Tracer. Uh, Rune Tracer. There we go. Perfect. Okay, we are set. Apparently I missed two chests down there. I don't need them. Can I just walk through the enemies? I think I actually can. I mean, I will take enough damage that I have to stop doing that eventually. But so far it's working. You know, the armor is actually not too bad. Spell Binder. There we go. Perfect. What is going on here? Huh? They definitely have multiple lives, right? Yeah, they, there's no way they just spawn like this, because if I stand still, they start disappearing. Yeah, do you see how they go further out? They just have multiple lives. Interesting. Oh, Rune Tracer's maxed out. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. There we go. And I think right, Billy... Yeah, there it is. There's the chest. Perfect. Oh, no. That means not all the chests here can evolve. Well, I guess at 20 minutes, hopefully, one will spawn. But that is very good to know, because on Davy plants, all the chests could evolve. But it looks like here it's not the case. Ooh, there's the boss. Let's burn him. There we go. Please, actually evolve it. I started questioning if armor is actually the evolution item. There we go! Wait, that looks amazing! Explodes when bouncing and in retaliation. What does it mean? I, 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 I understand the exploding part, but what is the retali retaliation? Oh! So it bounces... Okay, but it explodes whenever it bounces. And also when it dies. When it expires. Oh, that makes sense. Wait, could that even mean that you might not even want to have Spellbinder for this weapon? Just to get it to explode faster? Oh, this will be so interesting for kill record runs. This will be very, very interesting. Yeah, just look at this, how they all get fired out at the same time. That just looks amazing. I love it. It's insanely colorful. So I'll not do another cut here, we'll just play until the end, even if I don't talk, we'll just look at it all. I know I said this already, and then I didn't do it, but I, I spent like 5 minutes walking down there and walking back up again, okay? It's like, there was not a lot of exciting stuff going on. Man, but this is amazing. And this ginormous minecart going around, I just wish you could somehow lower the volume of the minecart. Okay, let me go to the brazier. It should... Oh, it's still very far away, isn't it? Yeah. That's it's somewhat close. What died outside of there? Huh? Interesting. I don't think something is supposed to spawn there. Ah, but with armor, you can still walk through these enemies. It's so amazing. Armor is probably one of the most underestimated power ups. Okay, I'm not saying I'm not saying passive weapons because I think it's it's not underestimated. It's really bad. What just happened? Did I step on this? It made a sound. No, that wasn't it. Because it still works. Oh, careful. Okay, I'm getting shot at. Careful, careful. Oh god, not good, not good, not good. I'm super slow. Oh god. I don't even see anything landing because it has the same color as Labora. Okay, can you just stop doing that, please? Oh my god, they deal a lot of damage. What is what is what is going on? Where are all the sounds coming from? Um, yeah, this is a bit too much for me. I mean, all the bouncing and the the, the hyper projectiles, you know, the pew 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 pew. That sounds amazing, but there there is just so much going on right now. What was this? Was it me touching one of them? And they explode? It almost looks like it. 
I have no idea what's going on. I just walked past the brazier. Okay, where is it? Oh, there it is. Hello. Get. Now I just need a couple more level ups. Oh, there's a chicken. Yeah, this will help me with level ups, at least for the weapon. Come here. Come here. Bok, 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 bok. I, I know it's not a chicken. It's a dog. <laughs> um, yeah, I think we are maxed out. Look at this. We are maxed out. Now I'm just curious to see how much damage the weapon will do. Just, like, I got it really late, right? So I don't have a lot of expectations, but I'm still curious to see that. Okay, doesn't this look amazingly hypnotizing? Like, the, the circle, like the circling of the Ferracci, together with the garlic also circling, the Labora moving in, and the lasers, and then you have the minecarts. <laughs> they don't really belong there, do they? Alright, let's go over here. Let's get this experience. Oh, I guess I get one food. It's really hard to judge. So how much damage does this stuff do? It looks like it has around 20... Oh no, I think this is Ferracci. Oh, it's really hard to tell. Um, I see a lot of higher numbers sometimes when it goes up there. Let's actually go further up and hope it shoots upwards. Yeah, it looks like I see a lot of 50s. 40 to 50s. I think that is the Rune Tracer. The Wolf Rune Tracer. What just happened? What was that sound? There was... There's some of these sounds are really hard to identify for me. Yeah, look at... Do you hear that? Is that me touching the enemies? I think it's me touching the enemies. Or is it the stuff being shot at me? Maybe. It's hard to say. Okay, we are about to 25 minutes. I think this is what we have to hit to unlock the hyper mode for the stage. Oh my god, and we also unlock the, the super speed mode, right? The other one. Oh, there's the crab! Yeah, we have to kill this one. Dude, this guy is so tanky. Um, oh! So the more damage that you deal to his claws, the bigger they become, but then they pop. Oh. Well, that is not what I expected, I gotta say. What, why, why is this red? What's happening? Why is this, Why was that red? That was weird. And he only has one claw now. Ah, okay, no, it just took longer to kill one, right? Oh my god. We killed him! And a triple chest, nice. It doesn't really help us, but nice. There we go. Okay, I gotta say, I think from now on, it will just be standing still and waiting for the enemies to kill. So what I'll do instead is I'll show off the waves if they actually get to me. Like right now you have the red skulls, right? And they super quickly die. They do nothing. So there's little reason for me to actually show them off. I wonder... I assume the map is also endless. Oh. Um, okay, this might be a bit harder than I hoped it would be. Oh, they do take a lot of knockback, though. And we have garlic that increases knockback, so I think I'm safe. Pretty sure I'm safe. And there we have the wave 27. The dragons are spawning again. At this time, they're not really reducing my game and speeds as much as the last time. I think this was just a particular wave or waves that caused that. We have the manticores. I still don't know what that sound is. Yeah, the manticores are here. I'm pretty sure they're called manticores, right? The the winged lions with the scorpion tail. And what else? What are these? They look like abominations. They remind me a bit of that, like from Warcraft, you know? Well, I mean, they have a different color there, but... Oh... I think that sound is just me running into one of these Wyverns dragons. Okay. Yeah, but they look like abominations, like ghouls, zombies. Yeah, look at this. And there's another Manticore boss. Uh, you can't really stand still. They don't take enough knockback that you can just stand still. And keep in mind, right now, this is not hyper mode. 
So I think once there will be hyper mode, this will be a lot more frustrating to deal with. But as I said, I don't think this character is really good for this map. Maybe this character is not good in general. I think there will be a way to optimize this weapon to, to a degree where it will just beat out other weapons for certain kill record runs or something like this. And there's the last wave on this stage. I'm really curious to see what this will do. Okay, we have the Vyverns again, or the Dragons, or the little flying thingies. Oh, the... oh no. Um... uh-oh. Uh... okay, they come way closer than I hoped they would. Okay, this is really way closer than I hoped. Ooh, wait, yeah! What? That is just a damage sound here. That is... Unusual, I would say. <laughs> unusual is probably the right word. Or maybe... Ah! It explodes on retaliation. The moment I get hit, they explode. That makes so much more sense. Now I understand what's going on. Okay, um... No, I will survive this, right? I, I do have Turagisu. Yeah, 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 I will easily survive this. I don't even take a lot of damage, is the funny part. Oh, I really don't want to play this map on hyper mode and curse with 100% and the uh, quick mode. Okay. That was weird. Dude. What? What? There's a blue reaper over there. What? I, I have to take a screenshot of that, I'm sorry. Oh. So this is interesting, he seems to follow you. Like, when you walk up, he follows you somehow. That is really interesting. Okay, well that was it, hyper mode is unlocked. Uh, Damage-wise, Firachi is obviously winning in total damage, but honestly, I think no future has a lot of potential. Firachi is overpowered, right? So yeah, we got the evolution, we got the hyper mode, we got the faster mode, and next time I'll play more with the Rune Tracer and get the hurry mode going. And after that, I'll optimize this minecart and try to get as much out of it as possible. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more, please feel free to subscribe, and otherwise, have a nice day.